Next will be Convergent Dental with Dr. Ryan Slayton. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming out today. I'm so excited to share with you a technology that has completely revolutionized the way that I've been practicing dentistry. Um, and I think it's a game changer in our industry. You'll see why in a second. Uh, but first, I'd like to get a little group participation if I could. I know this is everyone's favorite part, but um, if you could please uh, raise your hand if you've heard these words before from anybody. It might be a great friend. It might have been a new patient. Um, but have you ever heard, uh, I, I'm sorry, but I hate going to the dentist. I don't mean to offend you. Everyone's heard of that, right? Why is that? Does anyone, can she shout out why? Fear of injections, right, shots. So uh, shots are not a necessary part of dentistry anymore. And let me show you why. Um, th you've probably seen other lasers before, but this laser is completely different. What you've seen are erbium lasers that cut hard tissue. Uh, they do it somewhat reliably, sometimes unreliably, anesthesia-free. Um, they work at a different wavelength. You've seen uh, CO2 lasers that are native. Um, this is an isotopic CO2 laser that works at 9.3 microns. And the reason that's significant is because hydroxyapatite, which is the main component of teeth, absorbs at that wavelength cleanly. So you get a clean cut with all the energy going to breaking the tooth. You don't get explosions because other lasers target water. And that causes heat explosions and, of course, uh, the discomfort that people feel. So um, aside from the wavelength, there's a unique um, com computer modulated technology uh, that's very complex and sophisticated, but they make it very simple to use. Um, and that's what I love about it. It's uh, as intuitive as using an iPhone, really. If you look at the lower right, you can see there's an enamel, a bone, a dentin, and a soft tissue setting. And it can do all those things reliably with only topical for soft tissue and with no shots at all for hard tissue. In my practice, 99% of the time, you'll see in the end, the last time I gave a shot to remove an amalgam was November of last year. Over hundreds of patients have, have come and gone between now and then. Um, so it can do all this reliably, virtually anesthesia, and for soft tissue, uh, blood-free. And that's important.